welcome once again to the channel. Today we are learning how to prepare fufu. So in preparing fufu, you will need some cassava and then some plantain. Or you can also use coconut. So it's either you use cassava and plantain or you use cassava and coconut. There are some people who also prefer using yam as well. So that is the yam. You can also prepare yam. Therefore, today we are preparing using cassava and then plantain. So let's begin. We first of all peel our plantain, then we will peel our cassava as well. So let's peel our plantain. So you see how the plantain looks like. It should have this color. It shows that the plantain is very mature so don't use the plantain that has a whitish color that one is not all that matured this one is very mature so as you can see this is the plantain that I am peeling then I'll cut it into smaller pieces Going for the second peel. It's not difficult to peel this plantain, it's very, very easy. You can do it, you can just learn it from here and then do it in your various homes. Okay. It's very, very simple. is a very nice local dish that is eaten by the people of Ghana for other countries maybe I am not so aware of it but I think Nigeria also prepare fufu as well there is majority majority is <laughs> majority of the people who like fufu are mostly Ghanaians so See the cassava is dead, so we need to wash it at least two times in order to get rid of all the dirt. So in order not for your cassava to be very dirty, you can wash it before you peel, and then after you are done peeling it, you wash it again. I don't want to do double work, that's why I didn't wash it before peeling. Because right after peeling, I will wash it again. And even this time, I will wash it twice. So, I mostly peel it like that without washing at the beginning. Alright, so now you need to wash.
but this is the second time that I am washing my plantain and cassava. So after washing the plantain and then the cassava, all I need to do is to add water to it. Then I'll just keep it on fire for it to boil. So I just have to put it on fire. Alright, so now I'll put it on fire. <clears throat> Alright, so now our cassava and plantain is well cooked. We need to now drain the water. it here for me to cool down a little. Okay, so there you have it. It has to cool down a little. same time you have to be driving it as well but if you are two it means one will be pounding and then the other will be staring it now i'm the only one over here so i'm the only one <laughs> pounding and then at the same time driving or staring So at this point we are done pounding the plantain so we need to set the plantain aside <clears throat> and then begin pounding the cassava so the plantain has been set aside it's now time to pound the cassava so let's pound the cassava also as well and later on we add both the cassava and then the plantain and then mix everything so as of now, we are pounding the cassava and later on add the steam.
Okay, so we are now done pounding the cassava. We are adding the plantain and we mix everything together. We pound both the cassava and then the plantain together. So pounding both the cassava and then the plantain together. This is special food. Some boys' boys food. Single men. So now the fufu is ready. Okay. This is how we dish. So you make sure you slap the fufu against the mortar. There is a story I'll tell you one day about a certain man who slapped his wife for not doing that. Okay, so my fufu is ready. This is the first set and this is the second set. So this is how to pound fufu. So now our fufu is ready for consumption. 